Was it worth the wait? More to the point, is it worth four bucks to see Scarface? Well, the 100 people, I would say about 100 people who are already lined up here at the Miracle, clearly think it is worth the money and the wait. So did several hundred people, a sold-out crowd who saw a matinee here this afternoon. Here now are some mini-reviews from the first Miamians to see Scarface. It's a bloody picture. It's a very, very uh, dirty and uh, doesn't give the real image of the uh, cue that come from uh, Marielle. Well, it's a good action movie, you know, and it's a good movie. I, I enjoyed it. You didn't you know? think it was too bloody or too violent? No, it's neither. You know, you see horror films around all the time, and they're more violent and more bloody than this is. Weird. And I think it didn't make the Cuban people look too good. Okay. Does it make Miami look bad? It makes Miami look bad, too. Very bad. They, 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 the people see this movie here, they think this is what's going on down here, and it's really not. Okay, enough reviews. What about the movie? It's the bloody story of a Mariel refugee called... Antonio Montana. And you? What you call yourself? Where'd you learn to speak the English, Tony? Uh, in a school. And my father, he was uh, from the United States. Yeah, just like you, you know. He was a Yankee. But Dad never taught Tony how to talk good. What a mumbler. And what an accent Al Pacino has here. A mongrel mixture of the South Bronx, Milan, and Matanzas. Me, I always tell the truth. Even when I lie. So say good night to the bad guy and say good night to a bad film. You can sum up Scarface in two words, bang, bang, snort, snort. Bang, bang is for gunfire, snort, snort is for cocaine. There's a lot of both in Scarface. Reporting live from Coral Gables, Michael Putney, News 4.